Prince Harry's innocent reaction to death of Princess Diana's father Earl Spencer. Prince Harry reacted in the most innocent and heartbreaking way to the death of Princess Diana's father, John Spencer, 9th Earl Spencer, according to royal author Angela Levin. Princess Diana's brother Charles Spencer, also a historian, last night invited an archaeological dig at Althorpe, his ancestral home, in search of a lost Anglo-Saxon village. The Great I listed stately home sits in about 13,000 acres, around 6 miles, 9.7 kilometers, outside of Northampton. The Spencer family have held the home for around 500 years, and it has been owned by Charles since 1992, who also inherited his father's title of Earl. Diana lived there from her parents' divorce until her marriage to Prince Charles. Her younger brother inherited Althorpe from their father John Spencer, born Edward John Spencer, when he died in 1992. Ancient Secrets of Althorpe with Charles Spencer aired on Channel 4 and Channel 4 HD on Monday at 9 p.m. It is also available on all four. The year 1992 was a particularly tough one for the royal family. The Queen called it her Annus Horribilis in a speech in November of that year marking the 40th anniversary of her accession to the throne. Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson had announced they would be seeking divorce on March 19, and news of Diana's father being admitted to hospital followed very soon after. He had been suffering from a heart condition, which was not thought to be dangerous enough to stop Diana taking Prince William and Prince Harry skiing at the time. The day before their trip, Diana visited Earl Spencer in hospital. Prince Charles would be joining them in Lech, Austria, on the slopes, as well as some of William and Harry's friends. Royal author Angela Levin wrote in Harry, Conversations with the Prince that the holiday began a great success. Diana had been contacting the hospital daily, to be told her father was doing well and happily monitoring England's progress in the Cricket World Cup. However, three days in, on March 29, everything changed, Ms. Levin wrote. Diana was watching her sons enjoying a snowball fight with their father when the phone rang. Ms. Levin wrote, she answered it, went back to the window and told the photographers to go away. Her father had suffered a heart attack. He died almost immediately and, the hospital said, peacefully. He also died alone. Prince Charles had to break the news to his boys, both of whom were extremely fond of their grandfather. Ms. Levin continued. After some minutes of silence, Harry asked, Does this mean we can't go skiing today? Harry was just seven when his grandfather died, while William was nine. Diana remained behind the closed shutters with Charles for hours, Ms. Levin wrote. Although how much comfort he was able to give her at this point in their marriage is questionable. The princess wanted to return home immediately, but was forced to wait until the following morning as no plane was available. William and Harry were left with their then nanny, Jessie Webb, to continue their holiday and be spared of the trauma. The year 1992 did not get any easier for the royal family. Just weeks before Harry started at Lugrove School, Andrew Morton's explosive biography Diana, Her True Story was published. Allegations of adultery, self-harm and eating disorders were coupled with significant personal information about William and Harry. Later that same month came Squidgygate, in which intimate conversations between Diana and close friend James Gilby were published in The Sun. Windsor Castle suffered extensive damage in November of the same year, just days before the Queen's Annus Horribilis speech. Repairs amounted to £36.5 million, and Buckingham Palace was opened to the public to help pay for the restoration work. Just over two weeks after the Queen's speech, the royal family was hit by a further blow, Prime Minister John Major announced Charles and Diana's separation to the House of Commons. 